Hello everyone, I am Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we will learn how to control individually WS2812 b LED strip using Node MCU Wi Fi module and Blink application. The WS2812 b is an addressable RCV LED strip that is extremely flexible and easy to use. The best part about this LED strip is each LED of the strip can be controlled separately by using a microcontroller. Using a Wi-Fi module like ESP8266, the LED strip can be controlled. There is no need of any external driver IC. The system can be connected to Wi-Fi network. Then, you can configure the Blink application on your smartphone and control the brightness and color from any part of the world. As you can see here, I am able to create various color by mixing red, green and blue color. Even the brightness can be controlled by sliding the slider. So without getting any delay, let's get started. The video is sponsored by Next PCV. Currently, Next PCV is offering only seven dollar for SMT prototype orders. The prototype includes one to five pieces with no any component limit, with free stencil and SMT Plus DIP service. Next PCV has the latest and best technology equipments for SMT services. Components are mounted by placing them directly onto the PCV surface. They have capabilities to assemble the SMT prototype PCVs in small production, runs with manual and automated SMT production processes, including single or double-sided component insertions with any package assembly. Let's start by taking a closer look at the LED strip. It consists of Type 5050 RGB LEDs in which the very compact WS2812 b LED driver IC is integrated. Depending on the intensity of the three individual red, green and blue LEDs, we can stimulate any color we want. What's great about these LEDs is that we can control even the entire LED strip with just a single pin from our Arduino board. Each LED has three connectors at each end. Two for the powering and one for the data. The arrow indicates the data flow direction. The data output pad of the previous LED is connected to the data input pad of the next LED. We can cut this drive to any size we want as well as distance the LEDs using some wires. As for the powering, they work on 5 volt and each red, green and blue LED draws around 20 mA. So the total of 60 mA for each LED at full brightness. Note that when the Arduino or Node MCU is powered through USB, the 5V pin can handle only around 400mA and when powered using the barrel power connector, the 5V pin can handle around 900mA. The connection is same for Node MCU board as well. The digital input pin can be connected to any digital pin of Node MCU through 200 ohm resistor. The LED strip is powered by 5V 1A external power supply. Now let's just configure the Blink application. So download the Blink application from Play Store, then log in your email ID and password. Create a new project and rename it something like RCV Color Control. Now let me quickly complete the setup process. You can follow my video to complete the setup guide. Once the setup is completed, you can request for the authentication token. So, the authentication key can be sent to your mail. Copy the token and replace it here in this code part. You also need to change your Wi-Fi SSID and password. You need Blink library and also the fast LED library. Get the library from library manager or you can directly get it from the link in the description. So that's all from the code set apart. Now you can select the Node MCU board from board manager and simply click and upload the code. Once the code is uploaded and the Node MCU gets connected to Wi-Fi, you are ready to control the new pixel LED stripe using Blink. So control the LED stripe by touching anywhere in the zebra color dashboard.
Thank you for watching this video. Please drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos.